So, <clears throat> with that being said, that will be one card draw for each star sign. And, uh, hello, hello guys. And uh, we are about to see the energies and how we can alter our week from now on if, uh, if for example, there is a manus that is looming uh, forward in front of us and we're trying to avoid it or how to maximize our profits from whatever, <clears throat> whatever our activities lies. So the first one goes Aries, as per usual, you know, I'm starting with the star signs as uh, they are in the zodiac. And uh, Aries, we do have for you the Page of Wands. And with the Page of Wands, that could be a person in your life, most likely a woman, but it may be also a male. <clears throat> and it's a fire sign, which means that it's Leo Sagittarius or Aries as well, or it has this ascendant. Now, if this is a person, guys, that will be someone who really try to present himself or herself very, very strong in, uh, in front of others and that it is a, a person which tries to experience everything new in front of them with great courage, with a bit unaffect um, unaffectedness toward the surrounding environment. However, the reality is that these people, they're kind of like very, very touchy and they don't like criticism, even though they try to show you that they can really hang on to the criticism, they can really withstand it with pride, if you want to say it that way, but they really get touched by the criticism. What is the plus of these people is that they, how can I place in words, they like to experiment and they also like a lot they also like a lot of sex okay so if you are trying to establish something like a open relationship with someone for you aries this um, this guy is showing that a person for an open relationship or for random empathizement and having a one night you know uh, one night <clears throat> enterprise or one night experience well you are gonna have it to the rest of the week if this isn't a person for you aries then this card into your career shows that Let's say that there will be a certain problem there is because you will, you will be aggravated of that the people around you or your boss or your supervisor cannot see or they don't want to see uh, that your idea actually can reach a particular success and these people uh, which are standing above you guys they are going to uh, constrain you in a certain way. They are going to constrain your unfoldment. And also the ideas will be so many, that will also be a problem for you. So many that you cannot explore every single one of them. However, um, try to show patience and perseverance through that process and you are about to see that uh, there are a certain couple of ideas or maybe three ideas which really worth exploring into your relationship, guys. This card, it is showing that there are a new times coming into the relationship where you and your partner, if you do have a, a partner, are going to try something different, something new in an attempt to reignite the passion into one relationship. If uh, you're single, well, then this card is a clear sign that a, a new horizons are going to open in front of you. For Taurus, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. And uh, you, Taurus, uh, will have it your way in every single way. That card speaks for success into your business and into your career. In other words, you're going to strike that big deal. You're going to finish uh, with, um, let's say, uh, uploading the big projects that you are attending to. You are going to have your promotion or your raise. Uh, basically, whatever you are aiming for into your career, whatever you are trying to cope with, you are about to do it with a uh, subtlety and uh, with flawless success, if I can say that way. In relationship, guys, especially for those who are single, you're about to meet someone that will be a big fish for you, so-called. In other words, it will be someone that you will really, really want to be with. The thing is that with this guy is that you will also uh, attract their attention. So will you end up in a relationship or not? That entirely depends on you. You need to know that with the pentacle cards, the unfoldment is kind of slow, so don't get impatient, first of all. And if you are in relationship, this card shows a, a carefree, spontaneous expressions in between you and your partner in a, in, in a way where um, you have no restrictions to show, for example, to your partner that you like or dislike something and vice versa. 
for uh, Gemini. For Gemini, we got the Two of Cups. And with the Two of Cups, I can say only a few things about that card. First of all, that is a fantastic card, guys. It speaks for your career in, uh, primarily. It speaks that you are about to be surrounded with people that really care for you. People that are trying and willing to help you in every way possible. People which will make you no obstructions. But this card comes with peace. In other words, nothing extraordinary is going to happen into your career field. But at least there will be no obstacles. It just is going to be a friendly environment where you can uh, you can meet a lot of support from your colleagues. Into your relationship, however, this card speaks for love, Gemini. And uh, it also may speak for appearance of someone if you are single. Someone that is going to make a contact with you. As you can see here, the man and the woman are touching hands, which means making contact. So you can um, don't be surprised if um, ex ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend try to make try to make a contact with you or a so-called friend of yours is trying to initiate something more than a friendship just don't get surprised of that but you need to know that with this card when you do experience pleasure or suffering it is very important Gemini to share it with others because for this card, <clears throat> the sentence is that shared happiness is double happiness and shared pain is half pain. For Cancer, we do have for you guys a, a three of pentacles and so slow and steady your work is going on forward with an, an extreme progress. Three of pentacles is a card about preparing. It's about it's a card about analyzing multiple opportunities standing in front of you now however to the end of the week the energy of this card is saying that you need to hold down your horses first and try to uh, what was the word here mm. try to research every single option available in front of you especially uh, when you're trying to consult yourself or when you do a consultation with people that uh, are more skilled into the field of expertise you're trying to implant your um, to, impl to implant your knowledge and to implant your attempts of improving your own circumstances in relationship <clears throat> this card also speaks for a st stabilization a big time stabilization but um, you need to be able to take on a, a criticism with the card you need to be able to listen to your partner in a way where now uh, they're going to explain you what they um, know what they like or dislike about your behavior guys or uh, what uh, with what you are annoying them but they're going to talk you about what they expect from you moving on further in the future and uh, you have to make certain attempts pe people to, not to change yourself but at least to align to their demands same goes vice versa i mean if you're seeing the relationship differently from the relationship in in a state of a certain unfoldment that is happening right now you gotta make those demands guys otherwise um, if you let your demands unspoken or in other words if you don't ask the answer always will be no so don't speak with presumption people straight to the face for leo while well, leo for you we do have uh, the hermit so with the hermit that is a, a double side card I want to explain it. It could mean that you are about to plant a, a big roots either into your relationship or into your career, or it could mean that you are going to leave them. Now, what are the symptoms here? I want to talk about the symptoms. So, as you can see, the hermit is someone that is seeking light. So, you now are seeking the light at the end of the tunnel. And how you know? How do you know that you have found it? Well, basically. If what you're doing in your job or if uh, what you're doing into your uh, certain relationship, guys, it's boring, it, it, it doesn't show some, something that it is looming for you on the horizon. In other words, you see only empty wastes in front of you when you look at those situations and it's time for a change. It's time for you to walk away, uh, basically, and to search your happiness your happiness elsewhere excuse me now if this is your case you need to know that the direction you're about to take the new path that you're about to embark on uh, there will be no one no one there to applaud you to applaud you for <clears throat> because nobody will like 
that you are going to try to find your um, try to find your happiness elsewhere now uh, one second guys and uh, <clears throat> if it turns out differently in other words you do see big unfoldment but you do see that it really needs time and it really needs patience because the hermit is also about patience and solitude but not solitude where you become a hermit but a solitude in a sense where you withdraw yourself from the um, <clears throat> from the ideas of the world and the ideas of others in other words you withdraw so you can find out your own personal agenda and when you come back uh, with your own personal agenda to the situation you are in you're about to see is this situation worth it or doesn't worth it so hermit is kind of like a card of wisdom card of intelligence and so you can make the right move here either into your relationship or into your career guys <coughs> excuse me you have to clinch to your wisdom and to your intelligence leave the emotions elsewhere you got to leave your emotions on the shelf here you have to attempt to make certain moves toward material stability and material stability i mean body wise and happiness wise <clears throat> uh, by the way guys um <clears throat> stay in tune for tomorrow because i'm going to do a moon cycle and i also have a an announcement to make but i will make it tomorrow so if you want to know what is awaiting for you and your star sign for the next moon cycle um <clears throat> Make sure that you stay tuned with my page where I'm going to announce the exact timing, EST and uh, PTS, um, <coughs> PST, excuse me, uh, when it's going to happen. So Virgo. For Virgo, we do have Nine of Wands. And Nine of Wands, um, this card comes with a, a certain, how can I place it in words so you don't misunderstand me? It's about, it, it's a card about, changing but it's a changing uh, it's a willing change willingness change in other words you may realize now or tomorrow that the way you are moving forward guys it is just a constant struggle and coping with all with all that is coming in your way it's it's not gonna happen basically it's not gonna end up in any progress and it's not gonna end up in any benefit and the whole situation around you is quite stifling and uh, you, you basically cannot move forward from that and uh, this will force you to make certain changes with yourself with how you approach certain situations with how you approach your boss for example or how you approach your partner or how you approach <clears throat> enterprises with those people anyway uh, those changes will be for the better as a matter of fact as soon as you start uh, rearranging yourself according to the situations in front of you, either into your career or into your relationship, you're about to realize where the real problem lies. And with this card, most likely the real problem is in someone else. There is an adversary around you and uh, for now this adversary is kind of hidden. However, this card, it is a clear sign that you are about to take an edge. You are about to take the upper hand above your adversary and you will basically slay them. So, don't allow someone else's envy to, uh, to plummet you down into the darkness, guys. I mean, you got to be strong, you got to be patient and you got to be very, very calculative till the end of the week. Uh, for Libra. We do have for you the Emperor, so Libra, uh, I don't know uh, what your personal situations of Libra are, but for those which situation is mayhem and uh, chaos, well, it does seem that all pieces are going to fall together now. And uh, from now on, you're about to move on forward with exact plan, um, a very strict path moving forward. In other words, you will know how you fit in the grand scheme of things. A lot of responsibilities are waiting for you, especially if we're talking about career-wise, guys. This card, it is a, one of the best business cards, as a matter of fact. If you are planning to establish your own personal business, for example, this card is a clear goal that you are about to forge an empire from that particular business. You are the ruler. However, with your personal situations, 
uh, domestic situations, let's say that way, you got to show yourself strong, guys. Now, everybody has its own weakness, but that's the thing with the emperor. The emperor never shows his weakness because weak people, they are not uh, worthy to be leaders. And the emperor is the ultimate leader. So uh, be prepared to stay strong in front of other people, guys. Be prepared to have a strong spine as well. I'm not saying that there will be people that are opposing you. For example, well, Samantha, I am reading for Libra now. Um, I'm not saying that th there are people which definitely wants to bring you down, but there will be a certain opposition here. And uh, now as I look at the card, one of the symbols really uh, drag me, uh, drag me, uh, drag my attention to it. And that's the ram on the emperor chair or on the emperor throne. And the ram, guys, it's a, a symbol of tenacity. So whatever you have in mind and also the armor, you have to be tenacious toward it to a certain point where you are stubborn for it. And the armor is a symbol of war. In other words, you have to be prepared to, to lead battles, to, to fight for what you want. In your relationship, this card shows, guys, that you have to be the one that takes the lead upon the relationship. You got to be the one that put an iron hand on and says, we are going to do this and you are going to do that. You're going to do it the way I want to do it because my way is the best way possible. One more thing about the emperor, just slipped through my mind oh yeah as soon as you arrange everything around you because the emperor shows that you're about to arrange everything around you you're about to set in order all of your projects you're about to set in order your relationship with your boyfriend girlfriend your uh, parents for example or your uh, personal friends as soon as you do that as soon as you make everything in order guys you're about to see that when you face um the daily ups and downs uh, they will be much more bearable than before so that means that you are about to face the world with a little bit less stress with a lot uh, with quite less stress for what i can say and uh with that being said also when you do have that less stress you are about to have more time to um, enjoy pleasures so you will have more personal freedom for scorpio we do have for you people two of wands well, it is a time to try new things. Now, into your career, that is very important because this card shows that you have reached a certain level of performance. What the card speaks is that um, you now have to start showing more than you can actually showing right now because you can do more. So you have to place or you have to put your um, standard of performance to its outer limits. So you got to lift. The limits of your uh, of your performance only when you do that you're about to realize that there are so many more opportunities in front of you not just to taking other job or to be promoted or something like this but to take on different responsibilities to take on different more um, uh, more amusing projects for example projects that you will really enjoy working upon and this kind of stuff it is very likely as well as well that you can find out that you can do things that you have no idea you, you could do okay so it's also about unfolding of a new skill of new sets of skill into your but this card it, 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 i want to say something more about career but this card sometimes comes with a, a manis and the manis is about being way too aggressive uh, because you may be said no first time you ask about something that may throw you into a state of rage and it, it may not be rage but it will be aggression guys and if you allow the aggression uh, this is the thin line here you know the source of human power the power to move on regardless of the situation are two love and anger and uh, if you do have the source of anger behind you like you will have with this card it is a great motiv uh, motivator in other words it makes you um, it makes you less caring for what could happen if you make mistakes in these kind of stuff so in other words it makes you more aggressive but if you allow the anger to uh, evolve in rage 
then it's going to consume you guys and nothing good is going to come out of it so basically you need to tame your anger here and use it only into your advantage as a stimulus instead of destructive power into your relationship this card shows that you will have an urge to want something from the relationship for example you may have an urge to want deeper commitment you may have an urge to want unfoldment into one relationship you may have an urge for example to ask for living together with your partner even though you can get that there is a way to get everything you want here guys again you should not be way too persuasive to a, to a point where you can become intimidating okay so whatever you do uh, Scorpio don't be intimidating guys because the door for your unfoldment will be shut on your nose just so you know just in front of your nose for Sagittarius we do have the world so few things I can say really about this card as a singular card and you Sagittarius are about to reach high completion and a new perspective will be emerged for you very very soon after you complete your cycle you may complete cycle in one job which means that you may find different job uh, <clears throat> if you are seeking for one you may complete certain project and immediately after that a, a new project will be given to you or into your relationship guys you are about to know how you fit in the relationship in other words if you are asking yourself is this is my partner loves me okay uh, is this relationship really worth it and these kind of questions that are bothering your mind twisting and tangling through it you are about to know the answer first place with ex uh, from a first hand with examples and with um, submission of truth if you want to say it that way by the end of the week and uh, with this you will know is it really worth it or not to move on with your relationship or with your career whatever you choose here uh, Sagittarius you need to know that new perspective will emerge in front of you either way the new perspective could be a promotion higher place raise or something like this or like I said new project or it could be new job same goes for your relationship it could be new relationship new person or you may choose that you are more happier now single than with someone else because when you are single you can take more care for yourself you can basically do what you want so it depends again on your personal personal situation uh, for Capricorns we do have temperance and well the little I know about the Capricorn star sign I can say now guys with this card that you are finally gonna get a different way because you're about to realize here until the end of the week that brute force and wanting something at all cost constantly trying to make movement toward it it's not giving any effort the only way that you can deal with your situations in way is when you calm your wavering so in other words you calm yourself down and as soon as you do this you're about to realize capricorns that the solution is way too simple is way more simple than you can actually anticipate it at the start so you guys are about to find the right measures here more to this card into a relationship it speaks not that not for a, a physical attraction or um, wanting to to be close physically to your partner but more more intimate uh, binding no binding of souls but kind of like binding of emotions two kind of different opposite emotions are about to bind in, in, in one guys and you're about to feel your partner more, more intimate than ever so this intimate state may not lead to sex or spending too much time together but you will always always feel that there is someone next to you and you will miss your partner if you are far away from one another for uh, quite a lot so make sure that you call them you call your partner ever so often this card also shows that if you do struggle of some medical issue uh, it does seems that the, uh, the the medical problem is gonna get easier on you until the re uh, until the end of the week here with uh, the uh, temperance card also this card guys urges you to um, establish uh, sovereignty 
and to show compassion and solidarity. In other words, even though some opinions and some way of approaching situations are not matching with yours, but uh, people there to you are trying to, uh, to, to make them, don't be way too aggressive toward them. You need to acknowledge their way of thinking. You need to acknowledge their point of view because this will matter, guys. It will show that you are not kind of like turfing them, okay? And then we are going to Aquarius. So for Aquarius, for you, we do have the Devil card. And we are going to run it career-wise. So career-wise, the Devil card may show that someone not will not be aggressive but way too demanding upon you this will be forced by some uh, kind of like circumstances that are almost like uh, karmic circumstances if uh, you understand the word karmic the way i understand it karmic to me is something like uh, very very meaningful you know beyond meaningful circumstances and because the the job needs to be made for yesterday that's why people bosses supervisors are gonna breathe in your neck and you're really going to feel uh, that um, stifling sense of that you have no room to move forward now with the devil card guys it is it is very easy to detach from uh, from this situation simply you have to turn your face toward them and say look if you want to if you want me to do something, I gotta do it my way because if you think that your way is best, then well, better do it yourself. You know, if you wanna do something right, do it yourself. Otherwise, let the person you are asking to do it, do it their way. And uh, this is the thing you need to do. In other words, you need to kind of like traverse the energy, uh, the, the stifling energy toward those people that are trying to suffocate you. And they're not doing it on purpose. I mean, is that they're only trying to do the best here, but uh, they cannot see what are the advantages of, uh, of their proposals. In relationship, this card may speak for either a, a big yearning towards someone if you are uh, single, the card also has a sexual power. The card could speak that you are about to experience a lot of sex as well till the end of the week. It does depend again on a on personal situation. But it also could be a, a card where you are again repressed into your relationship. Someone is using leverage towards you and is trying you to do something you don't really want. Again, the devil card, as you can see here, the chains that you do have around your neck, you only have to lift them and put them on the ground. You don't have to be chained, guys. But you need to step out for yourself and you gotta be the devil. You need to show that um, you cannot be treated like you, are, like you are a slave. And there is always a different way to look upon one situation. And last but not least, we do have Pisces. For you Pisces, we got the Queen of Cups. That could be a person, and it is a water sign person, which speaks that it's Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or it has these ascendants. If this is a person, most likely a woman older than you, it could be also a male. Um, this person has really deep, deep emotions towards you, and they don't shy to show those kind of emotions. Now, if this is a person you are very interested in, and you are wondering, are they faithful? Well, they are faithful, guys. I mean, the, you basically have the biggest part of their heart in your pocket. So, in other words, they will do anything you ask them to do for, for your personal sake. Very discreet people, people who really can keep secrets, people who will not run away when you most need them. So, they really, really deserve being given a chance at maybe not the best the most beautiful persons outside but when you are about to make a relationship guys it has to go more than a skin deep you know i mean it has to have something within so you can be really happy in one relationship if this is about person into your career pisces then this person is going to offer you help but more emotional help than um than material help in other words they will not be able to help you with your projects but they will at least encourage you no matter what happens, no one dies. 
If this isn't the person and we're talking about your career, that card speaks for a plans you need to start making. And these plans are most likely in, uh, they are involving re reorientation into your career. So you may have those kind of um, thoughts or, or feelings that you can do something different than what you're doing around, uh, right now because you may not feel very, very emotionally satisfied of the job that you're performing at this very point. Don't be hasty here, don't rush guys, give it a couple of weeks, give it even a couple of months to really see are those emotions of being called, called into a different place not fake, okay? And even if they are not fake, this card is showing that right now only thing you have to make that move, to make that move is emotion, uh, are emotions, excuse me. You got to support your move with something material. So, yeah, you may reprioritize your career. However, the time is not right now. But if you decide to do it, the, uh, the, the orientation you have this week is the, is the right orientation. For love, this card is extraordinary for love. Basically, it speaks for deep, deep commitment into diving, basically, into one emotions to people which are unconditionally devo devoted to one another, unconditionally uh, in love with one another. There is nothing you can do to push your partner away. And there is nothing that your partner can do to push you away because the support that you are about to start giving to one another will be unconditional. So that was the midweek tarot scope guys the energy tarot reading and i hope you liked it and enjoyed it and if it comes helpful to you people please like and share the video so you can help more people and if you do want a private reading with me guys you can find me at www.tarotpredictions.net which is also written here in the description of the video well it's not written right now but i'm going to write it and um <clears throat> Again, if you want to know what the next lunar cycle has in store for you, make sure that you stay in tune with my page where I'm going to announce when I'm going to go live tomorrow. And with that being said, people, see you next time. Bye.